Hello, my name is Baron Dipitus, and welcome to another exciting episode of One Shot. So Nico is taking another nap, and I think we're going to see another dream here. Yeah. Hmm. Uh huh. It's a town. Serendipitous, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah. I was in a big field like the one in my last dream, and I saw my village. But then I woke up. <sighs> uh, I don't think this world is anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields? The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Serendipitous? Yes. Oh! They're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. It's like an ocean. Of food! Oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I've been to the ocean. That's really cool, Serendipitous. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought you'd I'd get to ride a boat even th uh, get to ride a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like how it is here either. Uh, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Serendipitous. It's a little hard to imagine that now after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. It's good you got over that. I used to have a nightlight too when I was a kid. I guess. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So, thanks for that. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Serendipitous. Yeah, let's go. Any more vine doors? I guess I already went through this one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I recognize this. Okay. So... And this is going to be tricky. Nice. Yes. Hey, there she is. You saved me. Thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. So are you Alula? You knew my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh, Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? Wait a minute. How did you know that I was the, um, Messiah? I didn't have the sun with me. Your eyes. Huh? They reminded me of the sun. Oh, that's why you're our messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world, too? I... Yeah. Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But if that's okay, you're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. I kind of need the sun now. Oh wait, that place I was blocked by blocks. Can I go there now? Huh. 
Yeah, I guess that doesn't matter anymore. Cool. Got the help I needed. Oh. Pfft. Hello, people. Two children reside near here. I'm one of them. Well, then who's the other one? The pathway is blocked. By blocks! Ha ha! Uh, okay, never mind. I guess there's no solving that one for right now. I don't think I've been down here yet. Oh, right, yeah. Here we go. It's the sun. We're leaving it here for now. Ah! I'm not afraid anymore. Thank you. Alula, you okay? She just looked away. Hmm, okay. Pitter patter, pitter patter of feet, of adorable little feet. Have I been up here before? Oh yeah, okay. Oops. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm glad that ram puzzle wasn't like an ice puzzle, like the rams go all the way straight down. That would have technically made more sense, maybe? I don't know. But it was, it was simple enough. Calamus! Alula! You're okay! Thank goodness. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the messiah saved me! Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There was that weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating square that we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff, exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them, too. I will! Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh, gosh. Would it not be rude to call you by, by name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah, then would you like to visit our home, Nico? Yes. Yay! Let's go! Awesome! Oh shoot. Looks like we can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, really. Come on, guys. I'll be up ahead. I have literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. <laughs> I love it. Come on, our house isn't far from here. So, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is. Here, we want you to have this. Ooh. Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. Oh, yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her feathers to father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Are you sure? Totally sure. 
I think that's what father would have wanted. Thank you. Good to be home again. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might already be too late to save her. I know. I'm glad she got to see the sun again. I hope the squares don't spread too fast. Looks like spoiled food. Oh no! I guess that's what happens if you leave your house for three days. There's a clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book! Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh? My friend gave it to me for Solstice Day. Solstice Day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Ooh! I have a few more of his books somewhere. I really need to finish this. So... Yeah, what's, what's up with this thing here? These other books you speak of. The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. The fishing pole. You like the fish, Nico? Yeah, so do we. We're good. They're good in stews or soups. But I know some people back home who like to eat them raw. Ew, yup. The plush toy. That's mine. My friend gave it to me last year. Oh? Yeah, she has a fox too, and she can even talk. What? I know, I thought she was the coolest thing ever. So he got me a fox plush for uh, Solstice Day. Oh, that's nice of him. He's the best. What's over here? Oh! What is this? Hey! I saw you going to the courtyard, so I thought I'd tag along. Same. This is the courtyard. It's got water and stuff. There's an entrance to an underground passage here. It's flooded though. It's closed. Well, I should probably take these in soon. Looks like it used to lead somewhere. Yeah, it's sacred grounds. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way getting there now, remember? There isn't a boat, none of us can swim, and... What's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit mom. Well, her grave anyway. Oh. Wait, how do you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along. But like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish I could go see mom again. We could go see mom again. Come on, Lulu, let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay. Hmm. It's a ball. That's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Fish. Fish. Oh, are you leaving now? Good luck, Nico. We believe in you. Oh, you're leaving now? It was nice to meet you. Really, thanks for everything. Seriously, what's up with the clover thing? Oh, 
Oh yeah, we can use the feather as a pen. Oh, perfect. Sign the picture book once. gone out serendipitous do you know what happened no you really but but oh what am I gonna do it lit up again phew she's gone oh there's something on the ground here it looks like a kernel of corn she must have left it behind Curiouser and curiouser. I keep telling myself I haven't gone there, and then I, I did, and I didn't, and whatever. <sighs> Wait, is this the way to... Nope. Need that big entrance area. Is it this way, maybe? Apparently not. It's getting kind of late. I would love to finish this game as soon as possible, but I'm going to have to wait a little bit. Probably. Still got a little ways to go, I, I'm assuming. So the sun went out when he was gone, but then it came back on when he returned. That's interesting. I'm assuming Nico is a he, I guess. Could be a she, really. Maybe it's meant to be ambiguous. Have you found something to write with? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact. I found a pen, sort of. Good. Please write your name here. Good luck. And on we go. What the heck? What in the world? Oh gosh. These squares that I'm assuming they're glitches. <sighs> Here we are in the, uh, uh was it the rest, uh, reserve, something? The city, basically. Wow. Ah, the sun 
Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Yep, the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. The surface? Look down, small one. Ooh, we're pretty high up. So I guess I gotta get down a lot of stairs. Or find an elevator. Correct. However, this tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright. Thank you. Off you go then. I wish you luck. I'm afraid this area is off limits for you. Only the bearer of the sacred kernel is permitted access to the garden. Well. Oh, like a kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady in the glen. That is indeed the kernel. Then it is your duty to regrow her. Do you understand what you must do? Um, yes. Good. You may now pass through here to access the garden. Huh. Time to plant this, put the seed in the planter. And then, there's no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? Can't just pour the water on the seed. It needs dirt before we can water it. Hmm, okay. Wonder where dirt could be then. Keep that in mind, I guess. Come on! Come on! Work already! Huh? What was that? Come on, come on, I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa, you're, you. Oh jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into, this is embarrassing. Uh, is there uh, anything I can help you with? Yes, please, I'd like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Right now this elevator is the only way to access the surface, but yeah, just take a look at it. It, it looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but go look at the bottom panel. Uh huh, there aren't any buttons. Yep, that's a problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something? I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. Maybe it exploded? You think we'll have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. Well, more like I'm gonna be the one to figure it out. More of those squares. What the fetch is this? Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have lot tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So you've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. It's an empty coffee tin. Maybe that's for the plant. A coffee machine. It's nearly full. Milk and sugar. I like both, but not in coffee. You know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked if I've seen a button that says ground on it. 
He looked he looked pretty stressed, so I wanted I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He um he didn't get it. I love puns and dad jokes. I see him around a lot, but he never seems to have time to eat a proper meal. He kind of just rushes in here, drinks a whole pot of coffee, and rushes back out. He uh really takes his job to the extreme. I mean, it's an important job, but nothing is worth that amount of stress. I think. What does he do? Maintenance, I believe. Something to do with the lights, but I don't know the details. Maybe you can ask him later? Oh, you're still here. Would you, um, like anything? I can cook something for you if you want. It's alright, thank you. But don't be afraid to ask if you do get hungry. I'll be happy to make something for you. Well, uh, I guess that's that. Coffee grounds. I love it. I love it. Okay, so that's that. Let's try this. The door of a little hand and arms holding the sun. It's a small tree. What the heck? Good evening. Well, the time of day doesn't really seem mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. Pfft. Huh. Your, good evening. Your time here is precious. Please do cherish it. I will. Um. It's gonna be another computer room or something. Yep. You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a, st a strange transparent sheet. Still clueless? Figures. Mm -hmm. uh, fine, keep at it. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Transparent sheet filled with numbers. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours, the edges of your viewpoint, where everything, where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the film through the void and back again. So, I guess like walking out of the window or something? Hmm. I heard a piece of metal set into the wall. I think it might be a door or some kind of vault. There's a small screen here in the middle. Yes, that's what I thought. Six three zero one four. Wow. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of this world's population lives here. very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. I saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. What about you, Bandipitus? Where do you live? Somewhere else. Something that isn't a city or a village? Like a ship? Well, maybe not a ship. Well, I don't, I don't live in like a, a village or like a city. I guess it's more like a town. Maybe it is a city, I don't know. Suburb kind of thing. 
Can you imagine living in a city like this, though? I can't. It's kind of scary, but also really cool. Yeah, I've been to big cities like Boston and Washington, D.C. I can hardly imagine living in a place like that. Oh. Is this like a small circle that goes around the entire thing? Okay. Yep. I think it was 63014 or something. I can look at it later. They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use, though. A stapler. It's bolted to the table. A tape dispenser bolted to the table. Yep. Some kind of computer terminal. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually. The surface access elevator seems to be broken. There's a button missing and... Can you go take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Ah, uh, never mind. I am only able to fix issues in this building. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay. Hmm. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay. I guess that was... That might have been... It's probably everything over here. Let's go to the other side. I'm not keeping track of how long these episodes are. Sorry, not sorry, I guess. The door is locked from the inside. Hmm. Locked. A landscape painting. An abstract painting. Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I, model 8XM home security bot TM serial number 39232B839W4, will have to report you. Oh, sorry. I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspicious activities detected. Zero. Well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad. It's off. Serendipitous. Someone lives here. We can't just sleep in their bed. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I am still monitoring, monitoring you. Alert level has been set too low. Don't worry, I promise I'll be a good guest. Huh, well, all right then. Oh, scissors. There's a pair of scissors on the ground on a pile of hair. I don't think anyone's using it anymore, so... Soap dispenser. The sink. A small potted plant. Wait, but that potted plant, there's dirt in there. Dang it.
wall of family photos. Okay. It's a big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Hello, penguin. <laughs> it's a pink flower. Picture of many ones and zeros. A painting of four robots playing cards. Hello, would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Hmm. Do you know rock, paper, scissors? Desired difficulty level. Huh? Desired duration of turns. Uh, please set your timer. Never mind. How about hide and seek? Well, maybe not too easy. Initiating ruthless mode. Target lock. You have exactly 14 seconds. Start running. I'm not sure if I want to play anymore. Oh, session abort. Are you feeling unwell? No, it's not that. I'll pass. <laughs> what? Don't you like to play run away from the killer robot? Well, at least I have fun with it. My parents are like literally never home. But I don't mind, I'm used to it. Besides, I've got model C CWT 2nd Gen Unit 4E here to keep me company now. She still talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay. She's learning. If I work real hard, she might even be tame someday. I keep hearing that word. What, tame? Mm-hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. It's just a, that's just a robot thing. I can't really explain it either. Ah. Yeah, that whole tame thing. pile of large books. One of them is a robot instruction manual. It's off. Yep. So many weird houses. Huh. You just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been to the Glen, right? Yeah. Everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer me up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy here. Hmm. The title is City Life. What to expect? Dirt would be nice. I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little car. Resistors to ride on it. I wasn't going to, Baronipitous. You should ride on it. What? Do it. Um. Well, that was fun. Be right at dawn. <laughs> A coffee machine. It's very warm. Coffee cups. I'm too young to drink coffee. I I don't drink coffee myself. There's so many things like things to explore here. Hey there. Hello. 
You the Messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. I will. When I see her again. Hmm. What is this? This fridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy? I hope nobody will mind us taking them. The magnets don't stick to aluminum. I'm getting some, like, craft stuff. Like, what is this? This one has a pink flower on it. Oh. Hello there. You have a lot of plants. I do. Grew all these myself, you see. Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yep. Do you happen to have any dirt? Yes. Finally. For growing plants, I mean. Yep. Do you need some? Yes. I'm supposed to plant this seed left behind by a plant lady, but the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. You know who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about, yeah. Here, take this whole bag. Thanks. Excellent. Cactus. 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 That's a phosphor tree. Oh, like the one that we saw in the glen. I always wondered, where are the leaves? They're not dead, are they? No, not at all. Oh, not at all. Although these trees are composed of a woody tissue, they're closer to grass, anatomy-wise. So the branches are actually leaves? Sort of. What's interesting about these plants is the amount of phosphor sap they can generate. Phosphor. That's the glowy stuff, right? Yep. Phosphor can store light energy and slowly emit it over time. Most of the phosphor from this world still contains energy from the f before the sun went out. Without the sun to recharge them, though, well, let's talk about something else. It's wheat. Why is it in a flower pot? Well, doesn't it look nice? I guess. I like to stand in the middle of the wheat field back in my village. It goes on for miles. Ah, I wish I could have seen it. In our world, wheat is usually only grown in small, isolated pots. Or in a flower pot. This tree has leaves. Ah, oh, yes, true foliage is hard to come by nowadays. You hardly ever see trees like these in the wild anymore, and the ones you do see are pretty much all raised artificially by people like me, mostly for nostalgia purposes. Apparently they are rare. So, is, is it a tree? Only a name. It's wheat. That golden color is quite, quite something, no? Ah, black clovers. Probably the only plant hardy enough to survive naturally outside the glen. Personally, I think they're really boring to look at. One of my customers really loves them, though. One of my customers. There's this person. I think all the black clovers I'm growing are for him, actually. I'm gonna think of it. I haven't seen him in a while. I wonder when is he coming back to, when coming to pick these up? The clover guy. He's pretty cool. He's an author. And apparently, he's, he's some sort of big deal. Or at least he's reasonably pa really passionate about his work. I don't know him that well, although sometimes I stumble across articles about him in the news. I'd love to chat with him, if I run into him again. Most of the plants in our world tend to grow in the glen. Even if it's facing the flooding issues, it's still in better condition than the other two areas. The Barrens is, well, the Barrens. And Refuge City has barely enough ground to stand on, let alone grow stuff. On a larger scale than this, I mean. Good luck with that seed now. I will. Thank you. Alright. I guess that's that then. <sighs> did I already go down here? Pretty sure I did. Oh, right. Okay. I believe that was three out of four corners. Yeah. And down here we go. Alright then. Over here. Oh, good. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. Okay, I think I'll call this an episode here. 
Thank you very much for watching. All the best.